Jeremy S. Cook here, and today I'm going to be talking about my very first PCB that I ordered from Oshpark, or any PCB manufacturer for that matter. You can see my address on the back, you know, you can send me hate mail, money, whatever there, but let's go ahead and see what's what's in the bag. But then cut that out with my handy dandy Harbor Freight scissors, and inside are some perfect purple PCBs, or so they say. This PCB would have been perfect, but I made a slight mistake on the CR2032 battery footprint. So it's actually hanging off the side and I had to correct it with a bad bodge wire. Overall though, it works pretty well. I mean, the only purpose of this is to use a AT Tiny 85 chip and blink some LEDs with it across resistors. Pretty simple thing to do, but I figured it was kind of like a hello world of the PCB manufacturing process. And I'm happy to note that the whole thing was pretty easy. Oshpark just lets you upload the, the uh, board files to them and they just make it from that. With the board properly hooked up, it was time to solder all the through hole components onto the board, starting with this roughly 50 ohm resistor and then four more. My soldering iron, as somebody noticed in another video, is quite disgusting here. So since the video was made, I have replaced that tip. Clip the leads with these cheap snippers, keep like like three of these around the shop for these purposes. They're like $2 each on eBay, so yeah, I definitely recommend stocking up on those if you want. There's the button, that's the only input to this whole thing. You just press the button and it rest restarts, then it does this thing and goes to sleep indefinitely until you press the button again. There's the AT Tiny that'll power everything, going into the socket nicely. Good thing here is if I need to take it out, I can to reprogram or even flip, flip the sides. And there's that bodge wire I was talking about earlier. That's attached the CR2032 holder to it. And that's a complete part. We'll see, see how it works. There's the battery and the program chip. When voila, it starts blinking. That's really a great feeling when it actually works the first time. As simple as this circuit is, it's still pretty cool. So obviously I don't want to just stop with one blinking LED. What I did was I wrote up this program with pins zero through four that would just, just go through the routine and just turn them on incrementally. I could have used a, a for loop on this, but I didn't. So, and then at the end you can see the sleep routine. So after it does its thing, it just goes to sleep until it's ready to go again. Programming it using this this chip clip, which is really useful, it's kind of hard to find in the 2.54 millimeter version that you need for the AT Tiny 85. But once you do, it's really great. And look at that. Reset it, goes through its routine five times, and turns off. Well, I haven't ordered it yet. I did redesign this board to make it well to, to make things fit a little bit better. First of all, the CR2032 battery holder, I use a different style, like a surface mount style. Uh, this might be sort of a gateway into surface mount components. Not sure if I'm ready to take that jump yet. I'm still, still very new at the through hole components. But the interface you're seeing here is KiCad or, or KiCad, depending on how you pronounce it. And what I'm doing here is taking the white connections and actually routing the tracks, turning these theoretical drawings that are made in a schematic into actual actual tracks that a machine makes. Perhaps the two things I'd like uh, for somebody to take from this video is, first of all, sleep mode is pretty cool with the AT Tiny 85. And then also if you're gonna do, if you're interested in PCB design, you know, just go for it. It's not that hard. I took a class on it from Anul last summer who was, you know, it was a good class, but after that I just neglected to actually, actually do some practice myself. And I think, you know, after going through the instructions that they have online, it's, it's really, Really good thing, really enjoyable, and something that I think you can do. Also, KiCad, it gives you this 3D view, which is pretty neat. Made some really cute, crude PCB art on the back. We'll see if I order this in the future. It won't actually be my, be my second PCB because I've ordered another one. It's like, I feel like once you get the itch for it, you just need to design more and more of these boards. Let me know in the comments if that's been your experience. Even though I ordered one board, Osh Park generally sends you three, three boards or six or whatever. I think their minimum order is three. So I had three of these lying around and instead of just, well, throwing them away or whatever, I, I programmed them to do different tasks. Like this one here, you can see it make, flashes red, meant to be on the back of a bike. 
had to disconnect the battery to program that. So just a little tip if that those chip clips don't work. And then the other one with just the three LEDs, that's meant to simulate a candle. I've got to say a, a real candle works better, but I guess if you're in a pinch, this will provide lighting. For what it's worth, I put the code for all three of these on GitHub, so I'll put the link to that in the description. I mean, you may find it handy for something, especially the sleep mode procedures. Thanks so much for watching and let me, letting me show off my first PCB design. I'm really proud of this. I, I know I've got a lot more that I could do with it, but it really just opens up so many possibilities. I'd say if you're on the, on the fence as far as getting into this kind of thing, I'd say just, just go ahead and do it because it seems like it's pretty awesome. And I did put it on my bike. So that guy wasn't after me, but hopefully whoever he's going after is okay. Also, also I got some, I finally got the service mount CR2032 batteries in from, from China. They wrapped this stuff up really, really well. So I don't know, maybe I need to go ahead and order that new PCB. We'll, we'll just have to see. So again, thanks for watching if you liked it. You know, feel free to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, or leave me a comment, whatever you like. This is Jeremy S. Cook, signing off.